go. I was nervous about the time. 20 minutes wasn't enough time at all. It doesn't matter what knives we have. I can carve with anything I have. 15 minutes left or? Oh my gosh. Of course, I get the big one. A little bit uh, under the pressure on the gun. The time's a little going faster than I thought, but I still think you can get it done. But then I forgot about the knife, so I had to turn around, go get the knife, and my, my favorite, my pick was gone. Two more minutes. Think you're gonna make it? Oh yeah. It works in the straight cuts, but not the curves. Broke the spoon. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey everybody, Mark here, and it is competition time, just in time for Halloween. So the way that our competition is gonna work today is I went out and selected four different competitors from four different departments here at Blade HQ. I sent them out to carve some pumpkins. There'll be a 20 minute time limit, and at the end, you'll be able to vote on which one is your favorite. But there is a catch. Each of our competitors will only be able to use one knife at a time. So if the tool that they want isn't there, they'll have to pick from whatever's left. And there might be slim pickings, since there are only five knives and four competitors. Let's take a look and see what the options are. Starting out, we have a Boker peeling knife. We also have a sword whittling knife, the coveted pumpkin carving tool with several different serrated blades. We also have an old timer pocket knife with a clip point blade and a saw. And lastly, we have a Spyderco kitchen knife with a fully serrated blade. All right, well, let's head out there and meet our competitors. The reason why they're going to lose is because I'm super good at gutting the pumpkin, and so I'm just going to gut them here. Those other guys, they just sit at their computers all day on the phones. I'm actually using my hands, taking stuff apart, putting things back together. So just seeing how much they handle, like one person didn't even have an EDC with them, you know? They just don't have the full knife love that a lot of us do in customer service. The other guys are going to lose because I've already done this before. I know what I'm doing. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. As soon as I said, ready, set, go, took it off through the field and I was super nervous about missing it. My strategy going in was, of course, try to get the, the smallest pumpkin for the smallest amount of seeds inside, and then be able to run back before anyone else, grab the, grab the big red spider co knife, and to be able to start using that to cut off the top. So when I first saw all the different pumpkins, I saw two that I had in mind that I wanted to utilize, and I was able to get uh, one of the two uh, right off because uh, I was the second to the table. So after they said go, I went and grabbed my pumpkin, wasn't too worried about which one I got, and then brought it back to the table. My strategy going into it was to put down my pattern on my pumpkin first, and then to go for the knife afterwards. Uh, I wasn't too concerned about what knife I would grab, just something to cut. So when I used the blender technique, when I took the top off, I was able to, I, put, I picked up the pumpkin, I'd grab the spoon in there, and just like a blender, I'd shred everything up inside so that it would come out easier. My plan after I took the top off was to kind of sketch the, the picture of Batman and then the Blade HQ symbol on his chest. I realized my problem in the sketching process was I'm not great, as great of a sketcher as I thought. Oh my gosh, of course I get the big one. Grabbed the pumpkin, took it back to the station. As soon as I set it down, immediately started drawing my face on it, started getting right into it, but then I forgot about the knife. So I had to turn around, go get the knife, and my, my favorite, my pick was gone. So I grabbed this forward really quickly, started carving away. One of the things right at first that I didn't anticipate was how thick the rind on the pumpkin would be for the smaller boker. So once I started cutting the top, uh, it wasn't coming off freely and everybody else was already to the carving and I was still trying to get the top off my pumpkin. I chose a nice, simple design that I knew that I could do within 20 minutes. Just drew it freehand from, my, from memory of what I wanted. Just a Spartan helmet in, in general. I went up to the table and the charade was one of the ones that was, was left. Took that and started cutting. Cut really well. It did bind up a little bit with all the pumpkin uh, sawdust, I guess you would call it. I was cutting it out and accidentally cut out the wrong part and actually had to change my design on the fly. Originally, I wanted to cut out the helmet itself, but ended up cutting out the eyes instead 
and had to figure out how to work that into the design instead. It wasn't a fatal flaw, but it definitely threw a kink into it. The first thing I started was on the mouth because um, that's where I knew I wanted to spend my most time. So I started the details in the mouth. Um, I did the outline first. I was pretty happy with that. I thought I'd keep that one for the entire competition, but I ended up needing the um, spider coat to cut the top off. I think by 10 minutes, I had pretty much my entire design mostly started. Then I was like, okay, I do have time to carve out in the middle. And I thought maybe I'd get disqualified for not having the center carved out, so I had, went back and did that, but it didn't take much time at all. So, I had a problem because when I was using the blender technique, I got a, a bunch of pumpkin all over my hand, and so when I was trying to pull out the knife, my hand just slipped right off. I still use the same red spider cone knife, and I was able to start carving, go in and then cut all those big, big segments off really easily. There are, there are parts near the eyes and in the mouth of the pumpkin that, that started to get very flimsy, especially with a, a very broad knife. The reason why I switched after using the Red Spider Co. is because I wasn't able to get the nice curvature that I wanted for Batman to clean up a little bit of the mess and also to start scratching in the one part of the Blade HQ symbol. So I started to get pretty worried when everybody else was already to the carving stage and I had yet to have my top off the pumpkin. So I knew I was running behind right at the get-go and had to kind of speed things up. So cleaning up the pumpkin immediately, you know, I tried to reach down the handle of the plastic spoon, but just for how big the pumpkin was, I broke that very quickly. Not only off the handle, but within a few scoops, it broke in half. So after that, I started trying to lay out the pattern, thinking what was the best way either to cut out what I had thought to do, but to save time, I thought just wetting the pumpkin with the, the guts of the pumpkin, sticking the paper to it would help keep it on there in the same position. So originally I really wanted to make a competitor pumpkin, having both Benchmade and the Spider Co. symbols on opposite sides. Well after they said the 10 minute timing, my heart started to race that I really wasn't that far along in the pattern, especially not enough to jump to the next symbol. And so I just kept staying on the Benchmade and just decided to do the best I could in that short amount of time I had left. Once I got going, I initially, my plan was to not go all the way through the pumpkin and just carve into it, but I decided that maybe it'd be better if I carved all the way through instead of just etching the surface. So that's the point when I, I went back and cut out the actual eye. Once I got most of the design cut out, I took the old timer back and ended up going with the, the pumpkin carving knife with a finer tooth blade. When I grabbed the pumpkin carving knife, I wasn't quite sure how it was going to to fit in. I knew that it was going to screw together. I didn't know if the nut screwed it together or the handle screwed into it. Had a little trouble putting it in, but once I figured it out, it was really easy. Five more minutes. What I felt like when I heard the time was I realized 20 minutes was longer than I thought. And uh, when I heard five minutes, I realized there was a lot more time, so I could kind of take it more slow. When I heard five minutes, I really felt I needed to rush into getting the design as far as I could and started taking out larger chunks, not staying with all the lines that I had carved in originally, just trying to get the overall shape and components there that at least would be recognizable. Um, made a few errors in, in the shapes of the lettering and the positioning a little bit. When two minutes was called out, I wasn't rushed, wasn't worried about it. I knew I was going to finish in time. Kind of took my time, cleaned up what I thought needed to be done, and was actually done a few, few seconds before they called time. The original plan, after talking with my coworkers, is we decided that we would use the knife as a prop afterwards. So once the timer hit two minutes, I was pretty much done. When we heard the last minute, I really knew that I wasn't gonna get done no matter how quickly I rushed and I didn't wanna cut myself, so I just kept pushing as far as I could and just counting that down. It felt like that minute was as long as the last four previous minutes and just when is this going to end because I was embarrassed that I couldn't finish what I thought was a very simple design. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, knife's down. Woo. Yeah. 
All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our finished pumpkins and hear a few reasons why you should vote for each competitor. I think you should vote for me because I knew what my design was going into the competition, executed it well, and I had a, a great pumpkin at the end. Turned out very well. So for those customers gauging who to vote for, you should vote for customer service, AKA this guy, to make sure your orders go through smoothly and always get the right service. I really think you guys should vote for my pumpkin because it's the best, it incorporated a knife. I'd planned it the entire time. It's just the best. So the reason why you should vote for me is it always comes back to the blender technique. Trademark it if you want. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure you vote. And if you're interested in a pumpkin carving tool or another great serrated blade, check out the options we have here. Have a happy and safe Halloween. And if you haven't subscribed, please do that now. Thanks again for watching. And remember, keep shopping Blade HQ.